Mr. Stephen, your motel is going downhill. You have to do something about it. It looks kind of okay to me. That is because you never leave your suite. The place needs a refurbishment quick. And the worst thing is Neil's show in the motel's nightclub. He can't sing. He scares all the clients away. If you would only give me a chance to sing, only one night. You know I can't do that. I can't fire Neil, it will hurt his feelings. I only gave him this job as a favor to his mom. I tell you what, you have my blessing to do whatever you can to get rid of Neil. I don't know if you're a better singer than him, but I'm willing to try. Hello. You're new here, right? Yes, I am Devon, the new receptionist. You must be Tammy Joe. How can I help you? You can give me the housekeeping key card. Ha! The famous housekeeping key card. The one that opens all of the doors. Here you go. So how's the work in this hotel? You better enjoy it while you still can. I think the place will file for bankruptcy soon. Our infamous nightclub scares the guests away. Oh yeah, you mean Neil, the terrible singer who performs in there daily. Yes. Steven said he doesn't want to hurt Neil's feelings, so he won't fire him. I need to find a way to make him leave the stage. I'm sure if I have the chance, I can pack this place. Well, I can help you. I know Neil's Achilles heel. But you must bring me pecan candy first. I'll reveal Neil's Achilles heel only if you bring me pecan candy. But it's your goal to save the motel too. Yeah, but I want to turn it into a game. A little adventure game. Go and bring me pecan candy. Those wooden sticks are a free memento we give our guests. Yes, this is how bad this motel is. But who knows? Maybe I could turn the tide. Hello, Matilda. Enjoying your stay? Yes, it reminds me of the 60s. Sometimes I feel like I'm actually sleeping on the same sheets from my honeymoon here 60 years ago. I'm pretty sure those are the same sheets. Could you please clean the spider cob in my regular room? Room 2? Yes, I'll look into it soon. There's only a broken broom in here. I'll take it with me. This wrench was left here by the motel's handyman. The last time this motel had a handyman was in 1964. A knife on the bed? That's dangerous. I'll take it with me. It's a candy wrapper. There's resin leaking out of the trunk. Looks like a duster to me. Good news, Matilda. No more spiderwebs in your room. Oh, bless you, dear. I have a special tip for you. Open my room safe and you'll find it in there. The combination is 418. That's a good idea. Some of the pecans are falling to the ground. give me a bell as a tip. Why does she store her bell in a safe? Is it made of gold? Probably not. That's great! 
The pecan is now frosted with 100% vending machine chocolate goo. Pecan candy? For me? You shouldn't have, but I'll take it. Thanks. Now please pay attention while I tell you a dark chapter in Neil's history. A few years back, Neil used to be a performer in the traveling circus. That is, until the unfortunate accident, when a giant bell fell over him. He was trapped under that bell for days. The giant bell turns out to be one of the circus's biggest attractions. Neil can't hear bells ever since. It freaks him out. You think I love you, baby? You think I love you, dear? But only if you knew I spilled poison in your beer. The stage is all set for me. 